perfect way to bend you in your back Even if I gotta slither through the cracks I can crack every code you deliver I attack every hole with a bomb So I sit it on a tripod Even if he tried hard, he can still die Today, we're gonna see if the Spinosaurus can take on Isla Sauna's ecosystem. For this challenge, I built an entire gauntlet of enclosures containing creatures from Isla Sauna's ecosystem, and we're gonna see if the Spinosaurus can take down every last one of them. In order to move into the next area, the Spino has to take down the animal and then the gates will open and it'll advance to the next area. And I was so shocked at how this one ended, so make sure you stick around to the end to find out. So first up, obviously Gallimimus just got took out straight away. And that was the case with the first few herbivores. Even the sauropods didn't stand a chance. And yeah, the Spino taking down sauropods is impressive, but as Bruce Lee once said, boards don't hit back. And in this case, it was time for something that could fight back. And this Triceratops was raring to go. It literally didn't even wait for the Spino to come through the gate. He ran forward straight on him. But in the end, the Spino was just too much for him. Next up was the Stego. What? You did not see that coming? So I decided to incubate one more Spino. Again with random traits. I skipped the ones who couldn't fight back, but this Spino was not getting a pass. He'd have to start again from the Triceratops to see if this challenge actually made sense, which he made short work of. But now it was time for revenge. The Spino vs Dego. That's right, this is a revenge story. Just like Jurassic Park 3, according to the theory of there being two Spinos when the plane hit the first one. And this Stego was channeling his inner Shan song. He was like, Your brother's soul is mine, and you will be next. And the Stego took him down again and again and again. But our Spino, he was like bloody rocky. He just kept coming. He wasn't going down without a fight. He was like, Hey, you're waiting. <laughs> so can't stop laughing. <laughs> But yeah, the Spino had his revenge finally for his brother and it was time for the next herbivore who he dispatched of pretty quickly. After getting jumped by some Dilophosauruses, our Spino quickly made his way through the carnivore section. But now it was time for a real fight, Carnotaurus. Would our Spino make it through this? This battle took its toll on our Spino and left him covered in scars and in his damaged state things were only gonna get worse as he took on the even more dangerous carnivores. Would he survive? Let me know in the comments what you think. He was about to take on his most deadly opponent yet, the Tiger Raptors. The Raptors were ferocious, not letting up for a single second, constantly attacking the Spino. He managed to shake them off, but they just kept coming back, savagely ripping into the flesh on his sail. He took one down, but the other got right back up and went in for the kill. Our Spino, bloodied and beaten, showed them who the true king is. And now it was time for the next stage, the one 
everyone had been waiting for. The rematch of the century. Spino vs the JP3 T-Rex. And just like that, history had repeated itself. And let me remind you, this is all the game's AI doing this. I have no control whatsoever. That epic battle with the T-Rex had left our Spino even more scarred. But could he push these last two stages? The Sauna Raptors were happy to test that deleted JP3 enzyme. But our oh, Spino was having none of it. I actually could not believe he had made it this far. The final stage, the Colosseum battle. Buff and Doe could sense right away that this was a threat. As our Spino arrived by helicopter, this is it. Spino vs Buff and Doe. Would our Spino be crowned the apex of Isla Sauna? And was it complete our challenge? Make sure your next move is slick, your best move is nothing you know, I take risk. Dark clouds, I love it, cause I can hide in the mist. Hop out and crush in every soldier your wit. So I'm six for six, I'm sick with determination, I terminate you quick. I lead the pack, I follow no rules, I see the traps. I know you're close to falling on your face. Unload, reload, hand me another case. Explode, explode. The fire of my eyes is waiting on your demise. I know you hope your help is close by. I will. The Buck Rex won the first confrontation, but our Spino was no quitter. I guess war is my love. My love. It was the end of the line for our Spino. But our Spino had one last plot twist to give. You see, both the Spino and Buck had been equally and fatally wounded in that first fight. So it was only a matter of time. Leaving the Dorex as the final survivor and the queen of Isla Sauna. If you made it to the end, thank you so much. It took me ages to get the Spino to actually fight with everyone. Like the AI, for some reason, especially with the Stego and the Raptors, it just did not want to fight for some reason and I had my game on fast forwards for like five hours and it was worth it in the end but yeah it took it took a while and it's not even like I could leave it on in the background because because I wanted to be genuine and use the exact spino all the way through it's not even like i could just put it on fast forwards and leave it and go and do something else because i had to watch like a hawk 
for that little notification to tell me it was fighting because if I came back and the spino had died, it's like, ugh. So thank you so much if you've watched this and if you like it, subscribe.